Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new, my name's Gabriella. I make videos about astrology, self-care, lifestyle, beauty, and basically anything else I feel like talking about. So today is gonna be another installation in my anger series where I talk about um, a zodiac sign's anger and how they deal with anger, how you can possibly uh, help them get over being mad at you. Um, so this relates to their sun sign, but also their Mars sign. So if you look into your own chart or someone else's chart, and for example, for this video, their Mars sign is in Sagittarius, then this video will be helpful and will relate to you. But just know, I recognize there are wonderful traits to all of the signs and everybody deals with anger. It's a human emotion that everyone has. So I'm not um, ridiculing anyone for the way that they deal with their anger. Okay, <laughs> I just have to say that. So if you get mad, that's on you, and I'm so sorry you don't have more interesting things going on in your life. Okay, let's begin with Sagittarius anger and a Sagittarius being mad at you. So Sagittarians are overall really optimistic people. They're a fire sign, so they're, they're kind of um, feisty, high energy. Yes, they're optimistic people, they're positive, they are, um, they're kind of scholarly to me. They love learning about different places, different cultures. They tend to be very open-minded people and um, open to learning new things. And they also love to teach. They are teachers. Um, my father's a Sagittarian and he's a social worker and he's also a college professor. So he's like the perfect Sagittarian to me. I just think all Sagittarians that are dealing with some maturity issues need to learn from my dad because he's just, He's just the greatest Sagittarius ever, but um, yeah, they're, they're teachers. Sometimes a negative trait that Sagittarian can have is being a know-it-all, just because they do know so much. They consider themselves very smart. They pride themselves in their uh, worldliness and their knowledgeability, and so they can be a little bit aggressive um, and can kind of be stubborn about their intelligence and things like that. So that's a, a kind of a brief on the Sagittarian personality. Um, everyone's different, of course, if you're like a high functioning Sagittarius and then maybe not so much. Um, their anger is quick, short bursts. That's how usually fire signs are. They don't hold on to things very much, but when they flare up, boom, like their, their anger flares. And as a fire sign, I'm a Leo sun, even though my Mars is in cancer. I, when I get angry, I totally describe it every time to anyone I'm speaking to as like, like like a fire blaster or like a breathing, like a dragon's breath, like boom, like my whole body gets hot and I could just like pop the F off, not really hit somebody, but like with my words, pop the F off for 30 seconds and then like I start to cool down and I, I look back and I'm like, that was crazy. In general, that's kind of how fire sign anger is. It's like you piss them off and it's like, woo, like Ugh! you like become a Hulk for a second and then you just cool down. So essentially, it would be great if you could avoid Sagittarian anger for whenever it flares up. Because when it flares up, they tend to express their anger through very hurtful words. They're known for being a very blunt sign for being honest. They pride themselves also on their honesty. And so they're used to speaking their minds. They're used to articulating their feelings and, um, well, not always their feelings, but they're used to articulating exactly what they think and saying it. So when they're angry, it's only 10 times that amount, even more, like just, it all just comes out and um, it might seem blunt, it might seem too honest, they might even say things that aren't, that are kind of an exaggeration, like honestly, nobody even likes you. Why do you, act? literally no one likes you, you have no friends besides me. Like they can totally tear you down. Um, and over exaggerate and, and really like destroy you with their hurtful words. And that's what usually happens if you're caught in the line of fire of a Sagittarian flare up. Luckily, they do not last very long. Um, so if you give them their space and their time to have their moment, um, you can usually move on from it. Like I said, they are an extremely optimistic sign. They're also very, very forgiving. They don't like to hold on to things for too long. Now you might talk about, I wanted to mention, a Sagittarian like Taylor Swift. Her, her habit of writing, writing songs 
and releasing them about the people, like everyone knows who she's talking about. That's so Sagittarian. And that's such a Sagittarian reaction to anger is like, okay, I'm going to put you on blast. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm going to bear my soul because that's all I know how to do because I'm so, I'm an honest artist and you're going to be caught in the line of fire of whatever I have to say. There's that one song she wrote about Camila Bell and, and Joe Jonas where she was totally slut shaming and it was like, she's better known for the things that she does on the mattress. Oh my gosh, that's, first of all, totally slut shaming. Like, no problem being good in bed, Taylor Swift. But, um, you know, just hurtful words. That's so Sagittarian. But if you think about the things that she, that she holds on to things and she seems to hold grudges and like kind of have an, uh, an obsession with like people ruining her reputation and the whole beef with Kanye West, all of that. I'll make another video, but that's, she has a moon in Cancer, that's a different story, and her mid-heaven is in Scorpio, which has to do with her reputation, and that's why she seems to, like, die and be reborn in her reputation, and her rep, she's like, her whole theme is like, my reputation gets destroyed, and I come back, it's this whole thing, so, anyway, I just love looking at the people's charts, but her writing songs and being super public about all of that is, um, and like her relations with other people who've pissed her off, that's so, so Sagittarian. Not everyone is gonna deal with their anger the way Taylor Swift does, but I do wanna give a real life example. So how you might have pissed a Sagittarian off, um, call them ingenuine. Because they're so honest, they hate fake people. Call them a liar, call them ingenuine, or ridicule their education or their qualifications. If you kind of make them feel like, if you're you know, in a work environment or something, like, really, should you be, spearheading this project, I don't, ooh, I'm a little worried about you. If you make it seem like you need to monitor them, if you baby them and, and kind of fence them in as in like, okay, we need to give you boundaries because I just don't know how much I trust you on this, um, that's gonna really piss them off. When I think of my father, who is someone who is the least, I mean, I don't know if I've ever really seen him angry except when it comes to injustice in the world, uh, bigotry, racism, um, when we hear about hate crimes and shootings and people being um, hateful towards minorities, uh, anything like that. He just has that natural heart that that's what irks him and I think that's also why he's a social worker because he wants to help people you know, become well-adjusted and um, he wants to help people operate in this world that is just so painful and I don't know, his whole story is, is just a wonderful kind of Sagittarian story. He moved here when he was 11 from Mexico. He didn't speak English and he completely speaks English now fluently. So that's Sagittarian already because they're just great at learning languages and new things. And he's a teacher, a social worker, and he's passionate about um, changing the world and passionate about causes that make for a better life for all human beings. Um, so injustice and people being mistreated, uh, people with mental illness not being cared for, people with mental illness being ridiculed, um, that makes him angry. Um, again, if you try to change them, if you're in a relationship with them and suddenly you have these new standards that they need to leave, live up to that you didn't express at the beginning of the relationship. In general, I think you should not enter a relationship if you want to change the person because you'll either be disappointed or they're going to hate you. I wouldn't like to know that my boyfriend was like telling his friends, yeah, she's cool. I'm hoping that, you know, this changes and this changes and this changes. That's just me. Like I'm too young to be in a relationship where we need to work on things. Um, but in general, yeah, especially with the Sagittarian, Sagittarius Mars, don't go in there trying to to revamp them, uh, it might be difficult, for example, for them to have relationships with a Virgo because Virgos are all about like, let me help you improve your life, let me give you this tip, I'm not criticizing you, I'm just being helpful, and that would piss the Sagittarius off. It's like, I'm doing fine. I'm independent, I've been fine before I met you, I was fine doing my job before you decided to monitor me, you're not my parent, you're not my mom, that's a very Sagittarian thing to say. Um, you know, they, you, they don't want you to make them act ingenuine to themselves. They're all about being honest and being being themselves. And if, you, if you're dating them and you suggest, well, can you, can you just act a little more this way because you're kind of embarrassing me and da 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 No, that's a huge turnoff for them that's gonna piss them off. Don't threaten their freedom. Don't threaten who they are. If you can't accept who they are, you should probably move along because they're gonna end up biting back. Luckily, they don't always take things personally. They can really laugh things off. My dad is so good. I, I, I like to use real life examples in my videos, but 
My dad is so wonderful at laughing things off. He sent a funny text to my family and was like, do you guys think I'm fat? And we were like, what? And he said that he was in the Walmart parking lot and he was, he's not a super fast walker. He's like, I don't know, how old are my parents now? 68 or something. He was just sauntering out of Walmart and someone in their car needed to get by him and said, move, move your fat ass or something like that. And he just was joking. He was like, I guess I am because somebody called me a fat ass. Um, and I would have been crying if someone said that to me. Even if, you know, and he can just laugh things off because he knows those people have problems that I do not, I'm not even aware of. So they must be having a bad day, moving on. He's just optimistic and he sees the best in people and he's forgiving of people. He probably would have been able to talk to that person and been like, yeah, I know you were having a bad day, no big deal. Whereas I would have been like, don't you dare try to speak to me. Again, if they're mad at you, they're very forgiving. Um, let them have their fiery, pissed off, burning anger moment, and then they'll probably actually come to you. They're a pretty, uh, pretty proactive sign, and if they feel like they've said things that were untrue, or they've said things that were over-exaggerated, or they've said things that were hurtful and they really care about you, they're most likely going to apologize, for sure. Um, if you, of course, again, let me say this, this, this depends on their chart because I have known Sagittarians who would never apologize for the crappy things they've done and who are still holding grudges for years later. But that's because you have a whole lot of other stuff weighing you down in your chart that's keeping you, keeping you in the past. But, um, you know, a high functioning, healthy Sagittarius uh, or someone with a lot of Sagittarius traits will be able to brush things off and move on. They, they're kind of like air signs in that way where they're just like, let's just have fun again and I just want to move on. This is uncomfortable. Certainly come to them with maturity and honesty about how you feel um, and, you know, speak candidly about the situation that created this issue between you guys. Um, they're pretty good listeners and I just think, you know, if I think I was trying to make up with a Sagittarian, it's just... Don't try to be a victim. Don't try to have a sob story. Be honest. Try to speak as eloquently as possible about how you feel is going on and listen to them. And they'll kind of mirror your behavior. I just think that's um, like something wise to use when you're, when you're confronting um, conflict in general is just to try to behave the way you'd want them to treat you because people... If you start raising your voice, someone else is going to start raising their voice. If you speak in a calm manner and you're letting them speak and da da da, and you create this environment of a healthy conversation, then that's going to follow. That's just true for anybody, I think. Um, but yeah, they'll, they'll recognize what they've done that was hurtful if they're mature. Um, words they've said, things they've done, you know, they, they can recognize faults in themselves if they're, if they're a healthy and mature Sagittarian. And if you need any like material concrete advice, definitely try to meet them outside. Don't meet them somewhere where other people are listening or where you have to say, shh, keep your voice down. Um, meet them in a park or uh, just somewhere where you can have a nice private conversation where they can be honest and not feel like people are listening or that you need to shush them or anything like that. Um, you could send them a gift if it's if it's a partner you could send them a gift if if your Sagittarian is a little more immature and it's just a, an argument and you think they're kind of holding it on holding on to the argument for maybe f sexiness sake you know what I mean people will like act a little more mad to try and get you to slowly okay fine I forgive you I think a great thing for a Sagittarian would be like weekend tickets, we're going to Santa Barbara for the weekend, or we are, you know, we're, we're going to, to the, I'm taking you to this nice hotel downtown, like give them an escape, give them freedom. They might just be irritable because they're in a job that's restricting them, they are in the middle of some kind of move where they just feel like they have no space and... Uh, they might be in a living situation where their roommates are cramping them and, they're in, and they can't do what they want and they can't be creative. They might be irritable for other reasons besides you. So just take that into consideration. Again, with anybody, people, anger usually doesn't just come from something you've done unless you did something really shitty. So that's my little video on Sagittarius anger. Just very brief 
and uh, kind of glazing over my impression of Sagittarian anger. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one. Love you guys so much. Mwah! Bye guys.